Welcome, Welcome back, back to, to the, the basement, basement, the friendliest place on YouTube. Today we are playing a Ninja Gaiden in a new kind of episode we're calling How Far Can You Get? Uh, how Far Can You Get in 10 Minutes? Playing on the NES Classic, an old game that may or may not be familiar with. Ted, how familiar are you with this game, would you say? Uh, I have played it a few years ago. And so what we're going to do is from the moment I have control of the character... We'll give you 10 minutes. We'll give me 10 minutes. We'll see how far I can get in Ninja Gaiden. Cool. And we're playing with the CRT filter because I really wanted to see what this looked like. This is my first experience with the NES Classic, so I'm pretty excited to see what happens here. Yeah, we're excited. All right, here we go. Ready? Okay, give me the so timer. Start and... And go. go. All right, we got the timer going, <laughs> and we're going to see I'm doing how great. Well it does. Um... Yeah, we, okay, so the NES Classic, so I'll tell the story of how the basement came into one of these. Um, this is mine. I think you're probably going to get one when you can, whenever you are able to get one. Um, but they're still hard to get as of the recording of this. Uh, our friend Kenai Gaming's trying to get one. He's, he started to doubt that they existed until I told him I got one. It's um, all big hoax. But I've been watching uh, everybody's in on it. A website called BrickSeek.com that does like on-shelf in-store inventory watching. There we go. Like aggregation on a website. Oh, I should have kept that special move. And so you type spin. in a store like Walmart or Target or Best Buy or GameStop, and then you type in like the SKU number or okay. whatever unique identifier that the store uses for its products. Um, and then you type in a zip code, and it will search within 50 miles or something like that, and tell you how many are on the store on the shelves. And I've been searching our zip code and the zip code of downtown Minneapolis where I work, like daily, for a Get long time. Get out of here! Oh gosh, they're they're really cramping my style. Yeah, you you're in a tough spot there. There you go. There. You can't mess around once those <gasps> guys are aligned with you I got vertically. Stuck you're toast. On the... Um. So anyway, one day I just. Went on to Brixie.com and typed in my zip code again, and uh, and then there were four on the shelf. Okay, you're down to one hit, FYI. He's down to only a few more hits, though. And, uh, oh, get him. Two more. Oh, two more. When I said two, I meant four. Good job, <laughs> All yeah. right, we're uh, just under two minutes. All right, first level done. And okay. uh, you're doing good. So, there were four on the shelf, and I called up my wife from work, and I was like, Kelsey! And she's like, hi, how's, how's your day going? I said, fine, doesn't matter, go to Target! And she's like, oh, well, I was gonna maybe go to Target later today. I said, go, go right now! <laughs> <laughs> Grab your purse while you're on the phone, <laughs> get your keys, time to go! Okay, watch out for those boxers, just, just get them. Well, you don't need to get them. If well, you're you trying to get as far as you can, I guess. But right, like, yeah, it's all they about roughed speed you now. up in that first level, bro. They did. They messed me up bad. Something fierce. Yep, Ninja Gaiden had a black eye. Ryu, is it the same Ryu from Street Fighter? Uh, yes. I Just that's no, it's that's not. what everyone hopes. That's what I prefer. I prefer that answer. So she's like, oh, okay, because she knows how badly I've wanted one of these. Um, okay, so if you if you use your sword in the air. It spins around when you have that sub weapon. Oh! And then, I thought you were gonna be like a red Koopa. And then you use up numbers too. See that 12? There's player 02, and then there's that red squiggle and 1 2. That 1 2 is how many like special weapons you have. You wanna go to the right on top of the ladder. There you go. You know what I'm excited for? Three minutes in! Shovel Knight Plague of, uh, or Spectre, Spectre Knight. Yes! Because it handles like this. Um, I... Have you noticed that? I watched a... lot a, of the gameplay looks very Ninja Gaiden-y. Yeah, I actually thought that too, and there's climbing on walls. Yep. Um... <clears throat> uh, I... It's gonna be cool. I watched a video where they talked a bit about what they were going for, what, uh, Yacht Club games, they were interviewing them. <gasps> My favorite weapon. Yeah, you can make that thing go forever. But oh, you're out of juice, though. It takes five to use it. <laughs> I like how you got that and immediately used it. Although, you put it to good use, but you're like, um, you're like a poor person who, uh, gets paid <laughs> and immediately runs out and, like, buys a meal at a restaurant, you know, that you can't, like, afford. You have to go down the ladder there if you yep, drop. you'll die if right? you drop. That's what I thought. Um, so anyway, my wife gets in the car, she goes there, and, uh, they said they had none left. And uh, I sent her a picture because apparently everyone has trouble with this. Um, they'll say they don't have any. 
but mm. really they've got them. That's my first death. And they're hanging on to them to like sell to their buddies or other coworkers or sell on eBay or whatever nonsense. Which is so dumb. And I'm not accusing our local Target of doing that, but a lot of people have told a lot of stories like that. And uh, you're doing good, Ted. You just keep going. You got your four and a half minutes in. Oh, are you kidding me? <laughs> <laughs> Same spot. Uh, and, yeah. Oh, I, if you do that again, we're gonna get the super psychedelic death screen. And then, uh, you'll start back at the beginning of the whatever. <laughs> Get out of here! <laughs> okay, go quick while you're lit I'm up! trying! I'm stuck on the wall! There you go. Oh, noise! Um, so she goes to the store. They didn't have four left, they had two. And she made the guy, like, check. She's like, my husband really wants this. He took a picture of the website. I just texted him. He said, you guys still have two. And he, like, looked in the locked cabinet underneath the counter in the electronics no! department. Oh, there's a psychedelic end screen. Wow, that looks really good. And they did indeed have two. So wow. trust BrickSeek. I mean, it's not 100%, and they say meh about how trustworthy their data is. Okay. Uh, like, like, don't wait in line overnight at a store based just on our data. Like, it's, it's not always accurate. But it really helped me find one. <sighs> There. Dude, you're so bad at this game. Hey, <laughs> you're just, you're not even contributing. That's yeah, how that's bad true. you are at it. I'm, I'm just, just sitting kidding. here. Uh, I've killed zero enemies. Ooh. Look at that guy would have just faced the wall and jumped forever. Oh, that's what you have so to do. harrowing. Yeah. Okay. Whoop. What? <laughs> <laughs> now you can jump up into the next screen somehow. But you can't fall down into it. Yeah. What if you jump? I'll bet if you jump Hate straight up and you don't grab the ladder, you just fall down and die. <laughs> like, how funny would that I'm be? I'm sure. That's exactly what happens. You can stand in a spot and press jump <clears throat> and it will kill you. <laughs> this game is Nintendo hard. If you guys don't know, it's brutal. I used to have But the this controlling game. is smooth, though. It's not the controls that kills you. It's no, just it's the a, game is actually just challenging. Yes. It's a well-designed game, but it's it's really, really difficult. And uh, I have never you beaten You feel like it. a real ninja when you beat it. I have put a... Well, I wouldn't know. I've put a lot of time into this game and gotten to the, like, fake last boss before the real last boss. And, uh... Yeah, and the respawn is ridiculous. If if their spawn point is a pixel off screen, they're coming back. Ugh. Yeah, it's. Oh, you made the boss. I sure did. Do, do, I'm gonna do, make do, him do, dead do, now. Do, do. Oh, this is a good weapon for him too. Except you're <laughs> except out. Of, I'm out. You're out of juice. Ah, I will uh, swing my thing. Swing my thing. I'll show you. Look at my thing. <laughs> swing my thing. Swing my thing. I'm gonna get you with my thing. Uh, look at my thing. You can sort of jump up the walls if you're quick. So when you're gripping the wall, if you jump away and press toward, like you'll. <laughs> oh no! That's get not what there, I want to do. I'm trying! <laughs> yeah, you gotta deliver damage while the delivering. Oh, don't walk it. Oh no! How far can you get? Okay, we're at seven and a half minutes. Oh, you're one hit away. There you go. There you go. There you go. Yeah, look at that. Nicely done. Hey, that's worth a five. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> nice and nice and nice and soft right in front of your microphone. One. Okay, I got one and a half minutes left. That was right in front of the microphone. You got two minutes left. You're looking at the wrong timer. Oh, okay. You got one of them is the length of the episode so far, and one of them is your time limit. Ah, oh, the cats. Oh, I'll, I'll let you. Oh, know the birds. Oh, the hawks are the worst. Yes, the birds in this game. It's not that they're so bad on their own. Ugh. But the fact that if you back up, they respawn. <laughs> that, that right there. Ugh. And when there's other enemies, yeah, too. or falling hazards, like, those birds can take a manageable situation and make it entirely unmanageable very quickly. You gotta kill them. But you can't! Oh, they're so hard to kill. You just gotta- oh, yeah, go while the getting's good. You just gotta, you gotta, like, calm down and line up your shot. I know I'm giving advice that doesn't actually really help. I think what you actually have to do is just play the game. <laughs> like, play, 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 and then you get a better feel for the birds. Another thing that makes this game really hard is it kind of requires you to learn some things. Like, there are certain spots in the game where if you've never played it, you will die the first time you get there. And it's then true. you'll know better the second time you get there. And that's a little cheap, but, uh, you know, they charge $60 for these games in 1989. Really? Like, Each game was 60 bucks? 
I paid fifty nine ninety nine wow. for Bubble Bobble. That's crazy that with inflation, the game, a game, a price for uh, Bubble Bobble is the same as Breath of the Wild, even after inflation. Yeah. Yeah. Well, the dollar is so much weaker now too. It's not just inflation, but it's other. Other economic factors. I think I want to go down there. I bet that's a really good item. You've only got 30 seconds left, dude. You're trying to see how far you can get. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you're right. How far <laughs> can you get? You got, got 20 seconds How far left. can you get? How far can you get? Plus, everyone's how far excited. Can you get? Anyone who knows the game is excited for this part right here. Oh, no, not this part. A part coming up soon. Oh, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, Three and, and oh, and I died right at the right yeah, time too. Perfect. All right, so okay, uh, pause the Rooney. Okay, what'd you think of the game? Well, man, I mean, Ninja Gaiden is great. I mean, obviously, it handles really, really well. It's not like Castlevania, which is hard because the handling is so goofy. Right. Um, Although, just, that game still handles well. Reasons. It's just goofy on purpose. It's, it's slow, and the jumping, like, you don't have control over mm -hmm. your jump. But, I mean, honestly, that's a little more realistic anyway. Well, like, if you jump, you can't change directions. <laughs> but ninjas can, and that's why this game is cool. I guess that makes sense. You know, as yeah. someone who's played this game before, I'm pretty impressed with how far you got in 10 minutes. This Thank is not you. an easy game, and it it starts out easier than it Especially is later. Especially getting used to the jumpy stuff. I remember the first time I played through it, it, it was kind of so hard You're so sticky. To, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah. like you're made out of, like, honey and and uh, and caulking and Elmer's school glue mm. and ticky tack. Mm -hmm. and, and gelatin. Yeah, and horse hooves. Well, next time in How Far Can You Get, we'll try a different game. And if you guys are interested in seeing us play this game more on the channel, let us know in the comments below. And uh, if you're new around here and you'd like to subscribe, we do come out with different videos every day. Uh, and not just one game, all sorts of different games. And uh, if you like the video, don't forget to hit the thumbs up button. And until next time, Basement Toilers, we think that you are more sticky than... Uh, a post-it <laughs> note. Because those are called sticky notes, sticky pads, sticky a gecko's feet. You're more sticky than a gecko. You're more sticky than spider feet. You're more sticky than spider webs. In the basement. Honey. <laughs>